Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about Kaz Al Gar, which is our new continent of the next World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the four zones of Kaz Al Gar, what they look like, a little bit of information about it uh, as of pre alpha, which is where we're at right now uh, as we're just kind of waiting for alpha to launch. But before we jump into all of the zones, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is boot.dev. The folks at Boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn code is to make sure you're never bored. Boot.dev is online, self-paced, and feels like a captivating RPG game. The platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code, because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only way to really learn. As I mentioned, it makes learning feel like an RPG. You can earn XP, levels, achievements, and complete quests to get the top spot on the global leaderboard. Boot.dev never want a student to feel like they spend money on something that isn't helping them, so they offer a 30-day no question ask refund policy and a free demo of every course and its interactive features. The boot.dev team also have a active Discord community that is there to help you if you ever get stuck with your coding challenges. So if you want to start working towards your future career in backend development, click the link in the description box and use my code MRGM to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year depending on the subscription you choose. And thanks again to boot.dev for sponsoring this video. Right, so yes, The War Within is coming this year in 2024, and with this new expansion is a brand new continent called Kaz Al Gar. This continent was the subject of rumors and fake leaks for a long time, and it looks like in The War Within we are going to Kaz Al Gar. So Kaz Al Gar is an island on the western shore of Pandaria, to the right-hand side of Kalimdor if you're looking at the map. Now, on the map preview that we did get at BlizzCon, they did show that the boat actually travels from the Dragon Isles. So it potentially could be from Bella Meth or one of the other areas in the Dragon Isles, but it looks like we are going to be traveling from the Dragon Isles to Kaz Al Gar, which is pretty interesting. And I would imagine as we continue through the Dragonflight story, we will eventually understand where exactly we're going to be leaving from. Now, the interesting thing about Kaz Al Gar is that three of the four zones are actually underground, and we'll talk about those zones in a moment. This continent will utilize the new airlock technology that we first saw in the Zaralak Cavern, uh, where you go into the cavern, it's like a seam transition into the underground zone. And these zones are of course built with dynamic flight in mind, dynamic flight becoming the standard of flying in the war within. Now according to Blizzard these zones do not feel underground so obviously we'll see what happens with that once it gets into alpha. So let's jump into the first zone of Kaz Al Gar and that is the Isle of Dawn. Now this is the only zone you will see on the surface of Kaz Al Gar. This is the home of the earthen surface dwellers. Now I really like this zone a lot. I love that it's kind of like Stormsong Valley mixed with a bit of like dwarven architecture and like a 2024 art style that just looks phenomenal. Not only will the earthen be living here but also some island natives including some fire bees which sounds pretty awesome and some storm griffins at the area called the Stormwatch which looks fantastic. Obviously the storm griffin model is the model used for the collector's edition mount that you might already have. This zone will also feature the capital city of the expansion called Dornagall. This is a dwarven city which looks phenomenal in all of the b-roll footage that we did see at BlizzCon and the promotional images. So Dornigal is going to be the main city for the Horde and Alliance, so no doubt you're going to be spending a lot of time here in the War Within. The Isle of Dawn will also feature three delves, the Earth Cruel Mines, the Kriegvul's Rest, and the Fungal Folly, as well as two dungeons. You have the Rookery, which is a level up dungeon, and the Cinderbrood Meadery, which is a max level dungeon, which features those fiery bees we mentioned previously. Overall, I think the Isle of Dawn is going to be a really nice looking zone. I'm always a fan of like Stormsong Valley and Nagrand and zones like that, and the Isle of Dawn definitely fits that criteria with obviously the Dwarven architecture as well. So yeah, that's going to be the first zone you encounter on Kaz Al Gar. So the next zone you'll encounter in Kaz Al Gar is the Ringing Deeps. Now this is under the Isle of Dawn and this is a huge underground mine. Now what's cool about this zone is it sounds like there's going to be cracks in the roof to show parts of the Isle of Dawn so not all of it will feel completely underground here. This is where you're going to encounter a lot of earthen foundries and forges and things like that. Uh, from the b-roll it looks like a pretty dark zone but it does have some light areas as well which is really cool. Uh, you're also going to see a lot of cobalt down down here. Now there are a bunch of new cobalt models in the War Within as well, and this is where their capital city will be with their leader, the Candle King. So that's going to be a part of the Ringing Deeps. Now the Ringing Deeps will feature two delves. It will have the Waterworks and the Dread Pit, as well as two dungeons, the Stone Vault, which will be the level up dungeon, and the Dark Flame 
Cleft, which is a max level dungeon in the Ringing Deeps. From the Ringing Deeps, you'll move into Hallowfall, which is your third zone in the War Within. Now, Hallowfall is a vast hallow area in the earth bordered by an endless underground sea. Now, the one thing you're going to notice here is this massive artificial sun. Now, this is not the sword. I know a lot of people think it is, but it is not. It is not the tip of the sword. This is just a artificial sun crystal type thing that actually changes from yellow to purple. And when it does change purple, from the sounds of things, these spawns of the zone will actually change. That's going to be a really interesting mechanic, and I can't wait to see how that works uh, once we get into alpha. When you're in Hallowfall, you will encounter a new human race called the Arathi. This is where their city of Miraladar is located. They're actually not native to Hallowfall, uh, and you're going to find out why they've ended up in Hallowfall. But yes, this human race of holy fire wielders will be kind of the main antagonists of the zone of Hallowfall. And they have some really interesting and awesome uh, architecture as they worship the light. So yeah, a lot of interesting kind of lore that is going to be going on around this zone. Now, one thing they definitely have stressed a lot is that this zone does not feel like it's underground at all and will feel like you're on the surface. But again, pre-alpha, once we get to play it a little bit, we obviously will be able to kind of tell whether or not we feel underground. But from all the footage and all of the kind of art and stuff, it doesn't look like it is. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how it feels when you're actually flying around it. Hallowfall will feature four delves, the Skittering Breach, the Nightfall Sanctum, the Sinkhole, and the Mycomancer Cavern. It'll also feature two dungeons, the Priory, the Sacred Flame, which is a level up dungeon, and the Dawnbreaker, which is a max level dungeon. And just after Hallowfall, you'll end up in your final zone, and that is Ajkahet. This is the deepest zone you'll encounter in Kaz Algar. Now, this is a sprawling Nerubian city, and a lot of the kind of assets and art style that you will see here look very similar to what we've seen in Wrath of the Lich King. But of course, updated 2024 graphics looks absolutely incredible. But yes, you're going to encounter a lot of Nerubians in Ajkahet. Now, these Nerubians will be gathering the black blood of the old god. Uh, in this zone and you'll find out more about that once we get through the questing and the story of Ajgahet as this is the final zone of Kaz Algar. Ajgahet will also feature three delves, the Spiral Weave, the Rack Rethan Abyss and the Deep Walker Hold as well as two dungeons, the City of Threads which will be a level up dungeon and a max level dungeon called the Old City. This is also going to be the location of your first raid, the Nurabar Palace. This is the first raid of the War Within expansion and it is a eight boss raid with Nerubian theming as mentioned it is in Kazalgar so expects a lot of Nerubians and things like that we don't know too many details we had like a really early map shown at BlizzCon but other than that it's an eight boss raid called the Nurabar Palace and we'll definitely find out more uh, once we get into Alpha but yeah those are the four zones of Kazalgar that you'll encounter in the War Within expansion uh, they look pretty great they're all very unique I am a little bit concerned about them being all underground but I think from what we've heard from Blizzard at BlizzCon and various different interviews, they're pretty confident in the fact that it won't feel like you're kind of trapped underground the entire expansion. But, you know, this is pre-alpha. We've got quite a lot of footage and images and things from BlizzCon. It is really nice to be able to see all these zones and things like that. Uh, but yes, obviously, once alpha launches, we'll be going a little bit deeper uh, into these zones and the stories and things like that, which I'm very much looking forward to. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of Kaz Algar as a of pre-alpha. I love the look of the Isle of Dawn. I feel like that's already going to be my favorite zone, but we'll have to see. Hallowfall also looks very, very nice. So alpha coming this spring, so not too long to wait now. And as you'd expect, more content will come from me once the alpha launches. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I'm also on Patreon and I'm on Twitter at MrGMYT. And I have a part of the Discord channel as well. And as mentioned, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR, The War Within Alpha, Beta, all that good stuff, guys, over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.